Well there YouTube, this is my little LED experiment. I looked up online, I think it's uh, linear1.org, it's in my other video, the first video on the Christmas lights, LED center. I looked up on their calculator, and if I wrote it down correctly, uh, 12 volts, if this was a 3 volt, like say 20 milliamp LED, which I'm just guessing what it is now, because a lot of LEDs are similar similar, and some are different, I'm guessing it's like 20 milliamp, this is all new to me. Uh, at 12 volts, I tell you to use a 470 ohm resistor. If I went up to 13, it said 560. Well, I'm pumping out about 13.8 volts on my power supply cranked up. This is going to go on my 2510. Hopefully, one of them will light it good enough. This is a 680 ohm resistor. Now, I went over 700, like I was almost 800 or something like that. Resistor is getting hot. I put a 1000 ohm, 1 watt resistor, and it got hot. Because you got to remember, the more resistance you create, the more heat you're going to create. Now, I've had this on here for over an hour. It's coming on to past an hour and a half. This is not hot. I'm not going to build this and put it in there and just have it burn out the LED resistor get hot. I mean, if anything, there's just a slight amount of warm. I got brave and stuck my tongue on it even. Don't have a, one of those thermal thermometers. I did. I stuck my tongue on there to see if it was warm. It's only 12 volts. It turned on, it ain't gonna shock you that bad. Wouldn't recommend doing it, but this is the brightest one out of the group of the blue ones. I just love that halo effect. More I zoom in, the more it dims down. I just love that halo effect. Which is blue, gray, brown. You got your chart. I got my old chart from Radio Shack. Uh, you just turn the wheels. Here, let me get it ready here. Blue, gray. You turn the little wheels. Blue, gray, brown. Let's slide this back out of the way. Trust me, that's gray, not black. If it was black, it would be, there's black. Don't expect anybody to trust anybody. And that's brown, that's not gold. Because you go over here, and you'll find silver and gold. There's silver, there's gold. That's your multiplier. Brown means no multiplier, it's zero. So it's 680. Now the other side of this is for inductors. Inductor color code. Don't get the sides mixed up. I cannot tell you if Radio Shack still offers these. It sure makes it easy. But don't trust the resistor because you grab it and it's the right color. You have your tolerances. You have silver gold. See that? It's plus or minus 10%. So this one is a silver. Red is high dollar ones. I have maybe one red one. That's really critical. None is 20%. Silver is 10%. So it could be, take 10%, move your decimal point. What? Am I correct? 6 point or whatever. You can, you can figure it out. 10% on silver. Gold is always better. Good luck trying to find a red one. You may junk out something. You can buy them with gold. 5% tolerance. That's what that plus and minus means above each other. But for most stuff that I do, 10% is good enough. I do have some gold ones. And they're usually real small ones. Because they were really critical. They was in like a modern little radio. Something, you know, really modern. But the older stuff, older CBs, you're probably going to find silver on a lot of them in the end. If you do learn this, it's a lot easier. I haven't really learned it. I know if it ends in brown, there's no multiplier. I've got that in my mind. Okay? If it ends in black, that means a decimal point. If it ended in black, that would be 68 ohms. So I remember my brown and black. Remember, if it's black, it's just the two digits. It's under 100. Now, I did try... 100 and 150 ohm resistor 
at 11 volts, 150 ohm resistor, it did get warm, it didn't get hot. I cranked up 13.8, it got hot. So that's not going to work for me. Like I said, I went up close to 800 ohms, whatever on a resistor, it was 7 something, and it was starting to get hot. If I went down to 5 something, which they recommend, like 5, 6, I found it was 500 some ohms, it was getting warm. I didn't want that. I don't want to waste my time and burn out LEDs. That's what it's going to do. If that's getting hot, resistor is getting hot. Here, let's zoom back out. That's the problem. I don't want a problem with the resistor getting hot. Now, I could be wrong. That's gold. I think that is gold right there. Gold is 5%. I'll touch it my pen. I'll have a mark on it. That's gold. And final on silver. So these are gold. These are the good ones I bought at Radio Sack a long time ago. You can buy an assortment pack. You can buy them on big, long strips. Uh, you're going to play around with stuff. Go buy an assortment pack. If you get down to your favorite kind that you're using, a lot of radio mods and stuff I did years ago on CVs always wanted a 470 ohm resistor. So, I had a whole handful of them. Now I find about two of them when I look through my stuff. Yeah, that's gold. Because it goes blue-gray. That's not silver. That is gray. Blue-gray-brown. That is gold. They're the better ones. 5% tolerance. A lot of you find silver. So I'm glad I caught that and corrected that. They might cost you a little more. They ain't going to cost you that much more. It might, you might find if you go into electronic place, you ain't going to find it with silver. Silver you'll find on old stuff. You find them old brown. I wish I had one out here. I will not make these videos too long, but here's one. You find these old browns and real old stuff, yeah, that's silver. That's the tolerance for that one. And this is yellow, violet, orange. So you can look that up if you're curious. He had a yellow, violet, and orange with silver tolerance. You'll see a lot of silver on these old ones. Like I said, I had a big one watt. If I'm correct, this is one watt. That's big. I'm sure the one I'm testing with is a quarter watt. I'm sure it ain't a half watt. I'm almost sure it isn't. To me, let's see if I can get this in here. To me, that's about a half watt. The size of these. And I'm sure these are a one watt. I'm getting back into this stuff, so I used to remember a lot of this stuff. If I'm not correct, somebody can correct me, and I'll correct it in the description, or somebody will read it. But I'm sure these little Radio Shack ones I got that's on here now is only quarter watt. But, thanks for watching. Like I said, this has been on here over an hour and a half. It hasn't burned out yet. This was the brightest blue one, so in my mind I thought if it's the brightest one on the little button cell batteries I used for experimenting with, that's in the other video, these little button cell batteries, they work great for testing the LEDs, just see if they work. This is your ground side, opposite you like what you think a battery would be, the one that's separated, and the big outside cover is positive. Those are pretty cheap batteries. You may have to pay three dollars. I've seen them for a buck and a half on sale. They go on watches. I've seen them on sale places where you can buy them. And those little uh, small ones that go in the little toys and stuff. They're real small and thick. I think those are only one and a half volts. I'm not sure. But you can stack them together. I do have some of them somewhere. I don't know where. Just can't pull them out real fast enough. These. See those? I think those are only one and a half volt. Since I jumped out a little flashing toy, the LEDs are not very bright. 
These are pretty damn. These came out like maybe out of an equalizer or something out of an old stereo. I'm starting my collection. I haven't been in, into it very much. I always just use bulbs and CB radios. I'm modernizing. You get them bulbs, they're always junk. You buy them little bulbs, there was a company or whatever, they used to call them like a wheat lamp, like a grain of wheat. I used to buy them that were 18 volts. They'd last in a CB a long time. They'd be a little bit dimmer, but at least they lasted. Uh, like those bayonet bulbs. This is called a bayonet type. That goes in these green pilot lamps. This bayonet bulb down here. That goes in these, twist in. I just got tired of this green. I had a dozen of these. I'm tired of them. You'd give them away to somebody. I'm tired of them. I've had it. I just don't like color anymore at all. I have one that video is going to get entirely too long, but I don't know what it is. This I found at uh, Surplus Sales in Nebraska, in Omaha, Nebraska. This is more purple lit up. They had bins and bins of these. You can tell how old this is by how it's made. It needs to be cleaned up. It's been slapped into stuff and soldered. It was in an old power supply where I just wrapped the wires around it, which I always tell people don't do that. I think maybe I didn't want to clean out the holes. And to change this bulb and the radio, just pull this out. This has a 24 volt bulb in it because it was dimmer and when you key up a radio and see the power supply draw down you're going to see the draw better on a dimmer bulb. You're going to see it draw down. And I just used that instead of the amp meter. See if I was pulling down too much on my power supply. This is kind of a nice little item. I've had this for a long time. I've had this probably since the mid 90's. But that will go back in something someday too. But. I've been in the actual store. You can go online, you wouldn't believe their stuff. I had one of their catalogs, you couldn't get through it there so much. It's, it's uh, Surplus Sales in Nebraska, it's in Omaha, Nebraska. They call it like the old market area. The real old buildings and the brick cobblestone looking streets. And you go in this big building, and this is a this pretty big old, big old building, and you go up the stairs and go through everything. And all them old Hallicrafter radios and big, uh, like a Collins brand. I've seen big radios where lightning or something had hit them and they're just completely fried and black inside. People buy them for the cabinets. They want so much. I'd like to put a modern radio on them antique cabinets. But if you're bored, there's a website to hunt up. It's either Omaha Surplus or Surplus Sales in Nebraska. It is in Omaha, Nebraska. It's quite the sight. There, you'll be in there, you'll see old, you'll see something, you might even find a ship's compass. You might find an old brass compass out of a ship. You'll find a lot of military stuff. Uh, oodles, of, oodles of stuff, it's just fun to look through it. Their shipping's kind of spendy, uh, I guarantee you, if you walk in there, the prices are going to be cheaper than on their website. That's just the way a lot of businesses are. But, thought I'd throw that in there. It is a fun website to go to. There's another one, if I ever find it, I'll post it in a video. I'll mention it. They had all kinds of stuff. The periscopes out of tanks and everything. I, we had one computer crash one time and lost it. It was in my favorites. It was a very odd site. It had oodles of weird stuff like range finders and scopes and just odd military stuff. But thanks for watching. I know this one's too long.